So we have another case of GPS fail. Not Google Maps to blame this time though. I think you said it was Waze. But uh, up there, where you can't see up in those clouds, there's a giant volcanic crater on top of the mountain. And there's two big, huge lakes in the middle of it. Absolutely beautiful up there. Amazing spot to go check out. Uh, problem is, you can't go check it out right now unless you have a snowmobile. Uh, the whole area is closed off and a snowmobile only right now. But if you try to GPS your way there, some GPSs will try to send you out a bunch of these Forest Service roads like this to get there because Forest Service roads aren't closed. Uh, these people, they're in an Alfa Romero, Romeo, Romeo, I don't know, whatever. An SUV. I think they're out this road. They're 100% sure this one's got some fresh tracks on it, so we're going to try. I'm in the wrecker. I don't think they got far enough to get into the snowmobile closure before they got stuck, luckily. Um, but we'll see. This is not the best rig to do a bunch of exploring in the woods trying to find someone, but it's a rig I had with me, and if uh, a little SUV made it, this probably will too. So we're going to head in the woods and see what we find. I'm hoping this set of tire tracks right here, this pressure set, is them. Let's get out and look at this. So this is a fairly fresh set of tracks and there's only one, meaning whatever went out this road didn't come back this road, but this looks like a very wide and aggressive tire. And I wouldn't imagine an Alfa Romero thing have too aggressive a tires on it and kind of that big, but it is, oh, whoa, look at that. There's another set of a more streety looking tire over the top of those. Where are they over here? Look right, there's the one I was looking at. Look right there, you can see a faint track. But I'm not seeing it in this mud, which is weird. Let's investigate further. From right here, you can see very clearly the more all-terrain street tread versus the more mud-terrain bigger tread right there. So that all-terrain is over the top of that fresh mud set. So I wonder if there's two vehicles out here or if the other one went out some other way. I don't know. There's a, uh, there's a whole lot of woods out here and a whole lot of different ways in and out. So someone could have drove in this way, went camping, went out another way. I don't know. Very interesting though. I'm hoping we don't get too much deep up into that snow with this truck because this truck is very heavy. Uh, but also if we do get into a little bit of snow, that'll tell us for certain about the tire track. So Snow will be good and bad. I know they're stuck in snow, but they said it was a patch and it was clear next to it. So I don't, I don't know. If we get into a little patch of snow, that'll tell us for certain uh, the tire tracks. A little rocky in here. Okay, to be clear, okay, to be clear, I do have a GPS pin drop of where they're at. Uh, I just cannot figure out how in the hell they got there because. Uh, the way my GPS says to get where they are and the most direct way to get there, I know for a fact they would not be able to make and I could not make. So it's, it's some nasty stuff, um, even in the summertime. So I'm trying to find their tracks of where they left the main road and follow them out to the, uh, the pin drop where they're at in whatever way makes some sort of sense. So we're back on pavement here because that did not work out and I lost those tracks into like a major, uh, more traveled dirt road. So we're gonna go up farther to the next junction and see what that looks like. So something I have done in the past and would do if they had service would be to have them send me a picture of their tires and then I can compare their tires with the tire tracks I find on the ground and know whether or not I'm on the right uh, vehicle tracks but they don't have good service, so here's some people walking down the road. Why are there people walking down the road? Let's go see. 
Are you guys the one stuck? Howdy. You guys the one stuck? Yeah. Okay. Where is your vehicle? I it's uh I sent the, so the have yeah. to go left, you have to go left again, right? Okay, um, there, how there far room? away? Like we've been walking a little bit. Can I tell you something? Yeah. Please don't ever, ever do that again. <laughs> no. We won't. no, 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 no. Leaving your vehicle. Oh really? You're right. Well, don't you don't ever do that. Okay. What have you got? You have no experience. Yeah, no, that Sorry. that's what gets people killed. Alright. Um always stay with your vehicle. It's okay. way easier to find a vehicle in the middle of the woods than a person. True. And especially after you send me a pin drop of where, because there's 15 different ways to get out there. Yeah. And then I'm heading there. If I go a different way, then you like, luckily I turned back out because this road was close and came to here. Otherwise I'd have got up there and never seen you guys. True. And then you to walk down that way, who knows where, who knows which way I'd have went out and I'd have never found you. Yeah. And you. it's going to get freezing tonight. That's, that's how people get killed in the woods. Yeah. So I'll make some room. You guys can hop in and we'll go get it. somewhere to turn around down here I'll do that and then back up to you okay, yeah. See what we got. lips not hanging up so yeah it'll be easy just pull I think it's just pull back to right there and it's gonna back out of here just fine no that that's a trophy right there yeah I bet you this is the only Alpha Romeo whatever it is with burnout marks on the floor mats <laughs> so you keep that <laughs> So this is not going to be a hard pull at all. And that's a super fancy vehicle that I know nothing about. So we're going to uh, use the tow point in the back that I say I never like to use because I never like to use them. Doesn't mean I never ever use them. Sometimes, even though they're not a great option, they're your best option. Alright, so you want to get in. Neutral? Uh, yeah, you'll just leave it in neutral. Just like an electronic parking brake. Yeah. Just make sure that comes off, because sometimes they don't like to do. Okay. I heard it. Neutral. Okay, yeah, window down, and then I'll just pull you out easy back onto this, and I think you're fine from there.
to your passenger side, right there. Go ahead and back up. Okay, straighten up a little. Perfect. Keep coming. All right, right there. You're good. Okay, you put it hard there. Now we just gotta get the rest of the way out. <laughs> you, have to make the turn. you know what happens when you take that out before we're out of the woods, right? <laughs> okay. Just in case. If you get that put away, we'll be needing it again. <laughs> He's right, you know. <laughs> Let's just worry about that when we get back to pavement. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> I've played this game before. <laughs> okay, so you're just going to drive backwards for a while until we find a wide enough spot and then we'll get you turned around. Turn. And then I'll be on, on that side of you the whole way in case you pull together. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. yeah. We'll go down until we find a spot. We'll get you spun around. Right. Whichever one you want. Okay. What, you had enough of riding with him? <laughs> I was so afraid. I was like, Rodrigo, we got to turn around. And he's like, no, nah, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> He's doing good, but we got this log to get around. And this tree branch right here sticks in farther than it looks like it does. I rubbed it really bad, but I'd really not, rather not have him rub on it. Hey, straight right where you're at. Turn driver's side a little. A little more. More. Straight. Perfect. Well, that was easy. He probably didn't need me to do that, but it makes me feel like I'm contributing. We made it back to pavement. I was looking for a spot where this thing would be able to turn around and I look back and here you come driving forward. <laughs> we made it out of there, no problem. Chuck, how much are you? Nothing. No, something. Uh, Nothing at all. So, we work with an organization called PLS Bend. It does a bunch of public lands cleanups and everything. We clean up the woods and all that. Go to plsbend.org and whatever you think you should pay me, donate to them. Because that's what helps keep all this public lands open. That, that'll be your payment. And you get to choose whatever it is. Um, I, I wish I could have like every bit some, some, some No, don't worry about it. You're uh, fine. I I'm good. So let's see. P L S P L S Bend dot org. That's public land stewards of Bend. And what we do is we go out a few times a year and we do big cleanup events. I forgot your name. Casey. Casey, right? Yeah. Casey. Casey like this, right? Casey. Yep. That's right. Okay, so at least uh, I wish I I could do something for you. No, you're fine. And uh thank you very much. No problem. It's good. It's good meeting you. Um, and props to you for taking something like this out in the woods. I love it. <laughs> no, it, it does well on the, on the, with the traction and everything. Traction, yeah. like the, the thing has a very good, like, uh, I will drive. The problem is, so, like, when I got the, the last one, then I got stuck. Yeah, once, once there's no weight on the tires, it doesn't matter 
what you've got for traction control, tires, lockers, anything. If the tires aren't on the ground pulling with no weight on them, it, it doesn't do anything. And this thing's probably one big plastic skid plate underneath that it just sits on and you're done. Yeah. But yeah, I love seeing something like this out in the woods. That's awesome. And they're off. Very, very nice people. Uh, try and get out and go check out the, the Newberry Crater. Because um, it's definitely worth checking out before you head out of town. If you're here during the season where you can get to it to check it out. Uh, that was cool. I've, I've definitely never pulled one of those out of the snow before. Um, Alpha Romeo. I thought it was Romero or Romeo. I wasn't sure. But now I know. So, uh, super easy pull. Pulled it three feet. He was out. It was just getting there and back. Um, fun job. Got to go out and do some exploring in the wrecker. I don't get to drive this thing enough, so it is nice to get to do a little more jobs with it, even if it's not the perfect truck for the job we're doing. But I'm going to head back home now. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, we'll see you next time.